Hey to fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. So y'all see what's on my head right now, right? Y'all see this, right? Y'all see this, right? So I'm excited about this unit, I am. Let's jump right in. This unit was sent to me by the Wig City. They're a new black owned business, new black owned hair supply company. Please check out their website. They just started September 1st and they are selling quite a few of the popular units that you see on other websites that sell hair. I think it's important to support black businesses. I definitely want to send as many people as I can over to the Wig City. They've been super kind, very sweet, and yeah, I just want them to be supported. So today's unit is by Outre, and it's from the Daily Wig Collection, and her name is Ophelia. And I have Ophelia in a natural black color 1B. Ophelia does come with a standard cap construction with two combs in the front, a comb in the back, adjustable strap, and it comes with a thick black strap for you, I guess, so that your wig stays flat on your head. Let's just jump into the pros of Ophelia. And I think you can tell just by looking at me that this unit is, <laughs> yeah, this, this unit is it. The first pro I would say is the style and texture. This is like a beautiful, light yakky texture. Probably the best light yakky I've tried thus far this year. It's just gorgeous. It's like, it's thick, but you know, for those who don't like it too yakky, it's not too thick. And for those who don't like it super silky like me, it's not silky. It's beautiful yakky hair. It's as if you got like a fresh doobie wrap back when you were like in the 90s or something. It, it, <laughs> Oh my God, look at this style. You got some light layers over here and then it comes down with the bumped ends here. Normally, I'm not a big fan of bumped ends. I think it's just okay, but I like this. I like this a lot. Another pro to this wig is the parting space. I think Outre always does well with their parting spaces. But do you see this? Look at that parting space, y'all. Clean, laying flat on my head. Oh my gosh, so natural. I love that I got this in a 1B color, but I can definitely see this slaying so hard in a blonde color. Or in a 99J. <gasps> Who's gonna review this in a 99J? Let me know because, <sighs> y'all. I, <sighs> I love this wig so much right now. So Thilia, she looks damn good. I think the cap construction is pretty good. If you have a larger head, like 22, 23 inches, you probably don't need to use the extra band that it comes with. It's just gonna make your, your wig like not fit correctly. I think that band is more so for people with smaller heads, which I can appreciate. I'll try to look out for all different head shapes. If you have a larger head, I think this wig will fit you pretty well. So yeah, I don't have too much else to say about Ophelia. I think she slays hard, okay? Look at me. <laughs> Bitch, is that your is that your hair? Is that your hair? Do you see how natural this looks on my head? Go to thewigcity.com and purchase the wig. I don't even know why you're not on the website already. Like, if you're on a computer, you can pull up another tab. That's cool. This wig looks so good. Damn good. But I do have one con. The one con to this wig is this hairline. For under $30, I'm not asking for a full-on pre-tweez hairline, but we, we still doing this? We're still doing this in 2019, Outre? <sighs> I know it's a daily wig. I know it's supposed to be a more affordable wig, but why are we still doing hairlines like this? Why? I don't like it. I don't like that at all. So you know what we about to do? Let's get my scissors right here and we're cutting this shit out. Let's go cut. Okay, so I had to cut that track out because that would have been annoying me for the rest of my days. You see the difference now? You see this, how this lays flatter now compared to this bulky track right here? Like who wants this out tray? Nobody wants this. We want this. We don't want this. No, thank you. I'm probably gonna do the other side as well. This already looks so much better.
All right, so I was trying to cut out this track here, but it's being very stubborn right now. And I'm in natural lighting and the sun is setting. So let me just speed up this process. I like Ophelia a lot better like this now that I've cut that ugly track out. That's just a good reminder to all of us. If there's something on a wig that you've purchased that you don't like, cut it out. Get rid of it. You don't have to keep it there. Don't be afraid to pick up some scissors or some shears and put a little work into your wig. Trust me, that work that you do makes a hell of a difference. Overall, I think Ophelia is bomb. I think she's a great unit to have. Make sure you check out the Wig City to purchase her. They are running a special right now where you can get 15% off. Just type in the code 15 off into the promo code box. And yeah, get you this wig. She is so cute. She is slaying. She is perfect for fall, perfect for work, perfect for brunch, perfect for a date. I think this is what Altrey means when they say the daily wig. This is something you can wear on the daily. Let me know what you think about this wig in the comments down below. How are you feeling about this cut, this length, what I did to the track here. Just let me know what you think. Also, if you have not already, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm so happy about all the love I've been receiving on my past few videos, and I really want you to join the family. So subscribe. If you wanna see some of my recent videos, they'll be right over here to the right of me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh